to come out, right? So sometimes in life, we are so anxious, we're so ready to move to our next dimension, our next um, stage in life, but sometimes it's too soon, sometimes it's too early, and if we go too early, Everybody, happy Friday! Oh wow! <laughs> I'm gonna wait for a few people to get on. I know it's kind of late. Some people are already at work, but if you're not at work, come on and tune in. Come on in the room. Come on, come on. Good morning. I'm gonna wait for some more people to get on here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Pardon, pardon my tardiness. <laughs> I usually come out here earlier, but um, I had to get myself together. I was having some issues with my allergies, so, or these allergies. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. Good morning. Wait for a few more people, and then I'm going to go ahead and get started. Good morning. I hope everybody is well this morning on this amazing Friday. Thank you for the likes. Good morning. Okay, we got a, enough people on here to go ahead and start. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. Um, so, good morning to everybody. As you all know, I come on here every Friday to give you some encouraging words to uplift your spirits, to motivate you, to push you further past your, you know, your hurt, your pain, your struggles, um, all of that. And so here we are today, again, another Friday, to encourage you to uplift your spirits. Um, so today, um, the topic is moving prematurely in the season you're in. Um, so I was looking at this video, and it was so profound. Um, it was a cocoon, a butterfly, you know, before the butterfly comes out, the little cocoon. It was a cocoon, and somebody came and cut the cocoon too soon. And what happened was the butterfly came out and died because it wasn't ready to come out, right? So sometimes in life, we are so anxious, we're so ready to move to our next dimension, our next um, stage in life, but sometimes it's too soon, sometimes it's too early. And if we go too early, we end up turning our what, what was supposed to be our blessing into our cursing or into a disaster, if I may say that. Um, and so you don't want to move too soon. If God ain't called you yet, stay, just stay in that, that lane, stay in that whole situation until God says, okay, it's time for you to move now. Um, cause you don't want to move prematurely. That's just like cutting a baby's umbil umbilical cord while they're still in the womb baking. You can't just, um, do that. You know what I'm saying? Because what may end up happening is the baby may end up dying. The baby may not end up being who they're supposed to be. They may not produce. Get what I'm saying? So today's topic is moving. Don't move prematurely in the season that you're in. Um, just stay the course. Stay your journey. Stay your in your place so that God can do what he needs to do in your life and build your character to prepare you for that next journey, that next chapter in your life. Because I, we do realize that sometimes we are anxious people. Like we are a generation where we got to be, everything got to be quick, like a microwave, like quick. I need it now. I need it right now and nothing else. Like everything is always microwavable. Like everybody wants it now and they don't want to wait. And Sometimes it's necessary to wait because you never know, like if you move too soon, like you may fail at every situation and you may keep hitting the brick wall over and over and over and you wonder why. And you're like, I thought this was supposed to be what I'm supposed to be doing. And then it'd be like, yeah, it was, but not in this season. You're trying to rush it and it's not time. Um, so 
today's encouraging word is don't move prematurely in the season you're in. Where you know seasons come for a reason. There's a reason we have fall, summer, spring, winter. There's a reason we have these seasons because in each season it helps the the earth to do what it needs to do. So, you know, each season, you know, in order for our grass to grow, sometimes we need that springtime so we can get the rain to shower down on the grass to let the grass grow. Sometimes we need we need the cold air to produce or get all the bacteria and toxins out of the earth. There's all th different types of seasons we're in. And each season does what it's supposed to do in each season. So if you're trying to move, if you're, you're, you're trying to move from fall to summer real quick, you may miss out on something that you need in that particular season. And so, because if you miss out on it and then you jump to summer and then you're like, dang, something's missing. It's missing. Why? Because you move prematurely when it wasn't your time to move. So that is the topic of today. Um, don't move prematurely in your season um, because it may not be a good idea. <laughs> um, it will probably mess you up. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to move too fast. Um, everything has its timing. Everything has its season. You want to stay in the season you're in. Learn what you need to learn in that season, in that chapter, so that when you get to the next dimension and that next uh, season, it'll be like smooth sailing. It'll be like, I'm walk. I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be walking in. It'll be like everything just aligns itself up. But when you move too soon, Everything ain't aligning up because why? Because well, number one, your character, you didn't let your character get built it up in the, the previous season. You didn't let it build you up to get you to a place of maturity to be able to handle the next season. So now you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to handle this. Why? Because you did not prepare ahead of time. So just like, like I said, butterflies, they have to prepare in order to become a butterfly. They are caterpillars first. They're crawling on the ground. They're trying to maneuver and grow and learn what they need to learn on the ground. Like that is your foundation, the ground. You got to start from the bottom and work your way to the top. And that's everything. And that's in every area of your life. So cocoons, you know, butterflies, they, they have to start off low. They have to crawl on the ground, learn how to learn how it feels to start low, learn how it feels to maneuver on the ground and, and to be able to pr provide for yourself and food and shelter, all those things. Learn how to maneuver. And then as you pass that stage of being on the ground, you go from the, the caterpillar to the cocoon. Now you're ready to pr start baking inside. You're starting to bake. You start to um, produce and become who you're supposed to be in that chapter, in that in that cocoon. You're in that cocoon like, okay, I, I got to, you know, I got to maneuver. I got to, you know, get my, my character right. I got to get my personality right. I got to get my heart right. I got to get my um, spirit right before I break out of this cocoon and fly, you know, and that that's a wonderful example about a butterfly. Like I love the whole I love the whole step in the whole process of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It's such it's so profound in our daily lives, like for real, like. You know, in our lives, in each chapter and season of our life. So, say for example, say for example, we're now in fall, supposedly, because the weather is kind of shaky. But we're in fall right now. So, in fall, what happens is, you know, we're we're trying to start. We have to start from the bottom. We have to climb. We have to learn how to walk, climb, and whatever everything you know, whatever that that season requires of you. You got to learn how to deal with people. You got to learn how to love people in spite of their issues. Because some people are so unlovable that you don't want to be around them. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> but you have to be the bigger person, and you have to allow that season to teach you and to prune you and to make you into that person that you need to be in that next chapter because you never know what obstacles you may hit when you get in that next chapter and you want to be absolutely prepared to handle in that next chapter of whatever it is right so um that is the topic today do not move prematurely in your season that you're currently in. Good morning, Joshua. Stay in the season and learn what you need to learn. Grow from what you need to grow from so that when you do get in that next season, you won't be like, I'm not ready. 
you won't be like, okay, I should have just stayed here. You will be already prepared. You'll be ready to produce what you need to produce in that next season. And it won't be any kind of hardship. It'll be like right on time, like everything just flowing. So that is the topic today of encouraging words for you today. Stay encouraged, be encouraged, and just learn what you need to learn in this season. And don't try to move. Stay right there. Learn what you need to learn. I promise you, because if you move too soon, it ain't going to be pretty. So stay where you are. Learn where you are. And don't, that's another thing. Don't look at other people around you because a lot of other people will be excelling around you. But don't look at their situation because you don't know what they had to go through to get to the acceleration. Your acceleration is coming, but you have to stay focused and stay in your lane. Learn what you need to learn in your lane and then move to the next season. And I've learned that and it's it's very profound that you do that because if you don't, yeah, you may end up having to repeat a season. <laughs> it's just like failing a test. It's, it's just like failing a test. Like if you didn't study, if you didn't prepare for that test, if you didn't get yourself right for that test in time, you gonna fail. And what's going to happen? You got to start over again. In some time, in some cases, you're not able to start over again because, um, you know, that's it. Like, like I know in hair school, like if you fail the basic test, the basic core class, if you fail that, you have to, you, you can't even, they won't even let you take the test again. You failed. You just start all over. You can't go, you can't go back and try again. You have to start all over. And learn what you need to learn and see what you missed out on and and that's in everything in tests when you take tests you have to if you fail it you you know sometimes they won't even give you a chance to go back and see what you missed you just got to go back through the process and see where did I leave where did I stop paying attention at and when you find out where you stop paying attention then you go in and say okay I need to correct this area so I'll be ready to go to the next chapter and so that is um, something that I wanted to share with you guys this morning to uplift your spirits to encourage you to stay in your season and learn what you need to learn in your season and be all God's calls you to be in the season you're in so that when you get to the next season it'll bless you and other people around you all right, so that is the topic today. I pray that this is encouraging for you. I pray that this uplift your spirits and that you are going to go on and, and take this with you and be all God's called you to be. Amen. So that is the word of the day for you guys. I thank you so much for every Friday that you guys keep tuning in, watching this encouraging video. And I hope that it is blessing you and encouraging you and making you better. Um, don't want it. I don't want it to be making you not better. I want it to be making you better. Um, and, and if you can share this video with somebody, share it with somebody who, you know, may need some encouraging work, who may be feeling down, who may be feeling low and, and they need some uplifting. So share this video, like this video, comment, whatever you need to do, um, to get this message across. Cause everybody in this time needs encouraging words. Everybody needs it. I don't care what area of your life that you are in. Everybody needs an encouragement word. Everybody. And um, that's that's point blank, period. So, um, again, thank you for watching my channel. And like I always say, I hope you have a wonderful Friday. And don't let nobody. You see these fingers? Don't let nobody mess up your Friday. I don't care how it looks don't care how it feels you don't let nobody mess with your friday because you are the one that can determine the course of how your day is going to be and if you choose that you're going to allow negativity in your day that's what's going to happen if you choose positivity in your day that's what's going to come into your day and it's going to remain throughout the rest of the day and the rest of your courses so you make a stand from the beginning of your day if there if your day hasn't started even if your day has started still make a decision say my day is going to be wonderful today my day is going to be positive energy my day is going to be fruitful my day is going to be wonderful today claim that today and when you claim that it changes it because really remember words have power so when you speak things it occurs when you speak something negative it still will occur so just be careful how you speak but speak positive today over your friday over your day over the people who you come in contact with speak positive words and let the good vibes flow
<laughs> let the good vibe, God, look, can't talk. Let the good vibes flow. And um, I promise you, it's going to be a wonderful day for you. So don't let nobody mess with your Friday today. Don't you do it. Don't. I don't care how it looks. I don't care how it seems. But don't let nobody mess with your Friday. And that's all I have for y'all today. All right. So until next Friday, I do appreciate you for coming on. Till next Friday, um, be blessed. Stay beautiful. Stay handsome. Stay encouraged. Stay positive. And know that I love you guys. God loves you. And everything's going to work out just fine for you. All right. I'll see you next Friday. I ain't going to say the same time because sometimes the way I wake up, it may be a little later like today. But just know it's going to be in the morning time <laughs> when I come on here. So thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys. And until next Friday. <laughs>